Well, all eyes are now on Ekiti as candidates across political parties have signed a peace accord ahead of the governorship election scheduled for Saturday. The candidates signed the peace pact at an event organized by the National Peace Committee, Nado Ekiti, on Wednesday afternoon. Speaking to journalists, the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto, Bishop Matthew Kuka, advised the people of Ekiti to exercise their franchise. He further urged Nigerians to imbibe the culture of holding elected leaders accountable in order to deliver their promises while in office. They don't necessarily by themselves define what political outcomes will be. And I think this is something Nigerians have not taken seriously. We have allowed our political class to get away with murder. That is that we sweat, we are in the sun, we are in the rain, okay? People die to make this happen. And then the biggest mistake Nigerians make is to just hope for the best. So essentially, I think one of the major things that Nigerians must now be encouraged to do is to use the enthusiasm that is leading them to the polling booth to continue to sus a sustain engagement, a sustain, even if you like, confrontation with the people that we have elected to ensure, to insist, to persist that they keep to their promises. And if and when they don't keep to those promises, there are consequences which the law has already provided them. And it includes embarrassing politicians. We must learn to find our way to government house by protest. We can commend them when they do well, but also tell them when we are not happy with the things that they are doing. 